You were you were right when you said before that you know I'm lucky not to have to choose between Kate and Connie because I I did that once and it, it just didn't go right. Well, I don't understand. Well, you didn't know Brenda. Uh, you knew her from last time she came to Port Charles. When I met her, she was a different girl. She was beautiful and wild and greedy for attention, greedy for love, and I could not stay away from her. Didn't even try. Yeah, but, uh, you married Lily. Yeah, I was gonna get in, indicted for racketeering, and Lily's father, was he had the power to drop the charges, but I had to marry his daughter, so that's what I did. So you, you didn't really love her? And Lily was beautiful, kind, and she understood me in ways that not too many women did. She accepted that I, the things that I couldn't tell her about my business or my life. We were gonna be happy together. But I couldn't let go of Brenda, and Brenda couldn't let go of me. So I, I chose to be with Brenda. And I, I was gonna walk out on, on my wife. And then Lily tells me she's pregnant. So I made another choice. And I, I chose to stay with my kid and Lily. But it was too late, because her dad wanted revenge. He wanted me dead. And he killed her instead. Dad, it wasn't your fault. It was absolutely my fault, Michael, because I loved two women, and I had to make a choice, and all, all of it was wrong. You think that's the real reason your marriage to Brenda didn't work out? That's one reason. The other is Brenda had feelings for Jax, and you, you know, put your mother in the mix, and it was it all got messy. You know, they tell me how complicated my mom is. No, I guess not. Maybe it's time I grew up, you know, and um, stopped counting on someone else to pull me back from the brink of disaster and take care of myself. Good for you. So, assuming I can stick to this and I can be thoughtful and mature. Jocelyn will grow up with a stable childhood, you know? More stable than Michael. What about Morgan? I think out of all three of my kids, Morgan had the best childhood, you know? He grew up with Jax. That was a happy time. Really happy time. And um, I think that's why Morgan stays away so much, why he doesn't want to come back, because his family's gone. Honey, not gone. The family's just scattered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jax is in Australia, and, and you know, jo Jocelyn, she spent Christmas with him. Well, then maybe next time Jocelyn goes to see Jax, you could go with her. Well, I mean, the last time he was here, we filed for divorce. Well, so what? Marry him again. <laughs> never say never. <laughs> It's my relish, my profits, and soon ELQ will be my Stop company. Stop it, Mom, both get of you. Way. What have you hit? That's the idea. No, it isn't the idea, AJ. Michael and I were counting on that relish. Okay, and I understand, I sympathize, but if you hit Tracy, she'll send you to prison for life. And I've lost too many members of my family. I'm not losing you. This is not your battle. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm going to handle it. I just need a moment alone with my sister-in-law. Sure. I'm absolutely sure, and you are not so old that I can't send you to your room. What? Yes. So, Alan Jr., go up to your room and stay there until I call you. You're sure? I mean it. I'm absolutely sure. And whatever you hear, don't pay any attention to it until I come and get you. I'm going to handle this situation in my house once and for all. Go. What are you going to do, Monica? Well, I was... I was talking about Emily earlier, and she, she had wisdom that often eluded me and <laughs> bypassed you completely. Well, I always found her a little preachy. But she knew right from wrong. And you did my son wrong, Tracy. And I have to make it right. How? By doing something I should have done years ago. Tracy, Angelica, Quartermain, you obnoxious bitch. I am throwing you out of my house once and for all. I know how much you loved Aiden. How determined you were to be a good father. 
And I watched your heart break when I told you he wasn't your son. I have something I need to tell you, and I should have told you months ago. And I'm... I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? Aiden isn't your son. He's lucky. I know the reason you moved to Europe was so that Aiden can grow up with a family and to give me and Lucky another chance. But I lost Lucky anyway. He left. I don't think he's ever coming back. Enough already! Kill the bitch, I'll drop these two, and we'll be done with this. Oh, for God's sake, stand down! Drop your weapons, throw them over there. I think I know where she's holding the loop. I seriously doubt it. Where? And his friends at the WSB have oh, surveillance. Don't tell me you still have faith in the WSB. And his friends at the WSB have infrared surveillance of someone in a in a stateroom below deck. They're not moving, but they're alive. Maybe tied up. Is Lulu tied up? What have you done to my daughter? What don't do you even do? think about it. One more time. One more time, and I promise you. I promise you. I will end her. All right. Is that a radio? Get it out. Call your associates. Tell them if they try to stop us, the dragon lady dies. Do it! Do as he says. Are those keys? Toss them over here. All personnel, stand down. I repeat, stand down. I'll take care of the old lady. I beg your pardon. You two go get her, girl. Back up! Or we get the guns. Yes, no. You all right? Yeah. It's over, Elena. This is my house. Yes, I know. Alan gave it to you because he's an idiot. To be perfectly accurate, he bought it for me for a wedding present. Yes, I believe that was when you were already cheating on him with Rick Weber. Well, I have the title, I have the deed, and I have the right to throw you out. Well, I'm not going anywhere, so you're going to have to serve me with eviction papers. I'll have you arrested for trespassing. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. You can sleep in a cell, you can sleep on the street, but you're not spending one more night in this house. You have darkened my door for the last time. You know, I could never really understand how Alan could do this to me. Give this house to the likes of you. If he weren't already dead, I'd kill him myself. Here's your chance, Tracy. Everything okay? Yeah, it's uh, AJ. We're uh, working on something that's going to put EOQ in the black. I know we've had our disagreements about, you know, AJ, but I, I am happy for you. Thank you. I mean, one thing I've learned is you, you can't take the future for granted. You got to live every day like it's your last. You got to, you know, tell the people who you care about how you feel. I love you, Michael. I love you too, Dad. And look, I'm, uh, I'm never going to forget that I'm your son. And I'll always feel lucky that I got to grow up with you. Well, I'm lucky because you're the best gift I ever got. <laughs> oh, and I, uh, I hope the woman you love comes home soon. Well, I should go, because I have to check on Scott. Make sure he hasn't gotten into any trouble. Okay, you guys aren't, you know. No, 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 no. there's no chance of that. <laughs> He's madly in love with Laura, again. So, never stopped you before. Yeah, well, I finally learned my lesson about chasing after men who are in love with someone else. And I hope you have finally learned that lesson, too. Trying. Yeah. Oh, honey. No matter how hard it is, if you have faith in yourself, everything else will just fall into place. Okay. Okay. Hey, but Dad, who do you want to come home to you? Connie or Kate?
Carly? I have to go home now. But I'm going to tell Cameron and Aiden that their Uncle Nicholas is in the hospital. That he's going to get better soon. Your days of terrorizing the Spencers are over. Luke and Laura are gonna find my wife, and then we're gonna take her home. Do you really think it's going to be that simple? You poor, deluded man. Oh my God, what have they done to my baby? Lulu? 